Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Healed Healer Tarot. My name is Angel, spiritual advisor, teacher, and healer. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This is a timeless energy read for the soul sign of Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury. However, I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Scorpio placements in your chart. If you don't know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website and the information for that along with a bunch of wonderful great goodies will be listed in the description box below. Although this is a timeless energy read, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest emanation. Energy is fluid. That means this is energy that you could have already gone through, energy that you could be working through in this moment in time, or energy that you may encounter in the up and coming and near future. Gender is neutral. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. So with that being said, beautiful souls, get in where you fit in and take what resonates and leave what does not. I'm going to clear the space and tune in and tap on our energies together. I want you to take a deep breath in and hold for seven seconds. Release that energy and hold for seven seconds. And I want you to bring to your mind's eye what it is that you've come to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about. You can also ask a yes or no question, but I want you to be open to whatever messages come through, for they are for your highest good and your greatest emanation. So let's go ahead and tune in and tap on our energies together. I call in my angels, I call in my spirit guides, I call in the ascended masters, I call in the divine, I call in only the highest vibration of love and light for clear and concise messages for the soul tribe of Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for their greatest good and their highest creation? Show me clearly and three shuffles for knowledge, for wisdom, and for perfect understanding. Thank you, Spirit. And so it is. I hope this reading finds you in sound mind body and spirit. All right, beautiful soul. Mm. So, the first thing that I notice 
is you are in this space of really coming into your authentic self. You're really coming into who you are at the core of your spirit and the core of your being. You've recently let go of something or moved away from a relationship or something that was emotionally draining, that was filled with a lot of conflict. I'm feeling the energy of a lot of competition, but I'm, I'm also getting the energy of a lot of secrets, a lot of things hidden, a lot of uncertainty, lack of clarity, and definitely no fulfillment. You felt as if though this relationship or whatever this engagement or whatever the situationship was, wasn't moving anywhere. It had no growth potential. It had lost its spark. And so you chose to move away from something that wasn't fulfilling your needs, but you chose to move towards a more spiritual, a more enlightened, a more evolved direction in your life. It's almost like whatever this experience was that caused you a lot of chaos, a lot of conflict, it's helped to evolve you and grow you emotionally as well as spiritually. I'm getting this sense with the Ace of Wands energy is that you have a ton of of brand new opportunities that are opening up for you. You have this energy around you that is really driving you and inspiring you to take some form of definitive action. And you're really being guided towards some form of direction in your spiritual growth, as well as your emotional evolution. It's almost like you're learning how to detach from things, detach from things emotionally and just exist in the fullness and the wholeness of source. You're in this very high vibration, confidence, but there's this sense of morality and moral. It's like you've decided that you were no longer going to dim your light or not show up in your fullest and highest version. It's almost like you may have had people around you who wanted you to play small or to not move towards what it is that you wanted in your life, but to settle and not have any growth. Something was holding you back that you've overcome. And now you're in this position of really standing firm on what it is that you believe and not turning back. I'm getting this energy of not turning back, a complete movement forward towards your wish fulfillment. Because whatever you're letting go of, it's allowing you to bring in more prosperity, more growth, and definitely to bring in your wish fulfillment. Spirit is saying, following your intuition and allowing the compass from the inside to guide you is really going to bring you into your fulfillment. Right now in your environment, you have tons of opportunities. There's opportunities for you to advance in your career. This could be the energy of um, a promotion 
or a new business adventure opportunity. I'm thinking of the energy of um, revenue, income streams, multiple streams of income, multiple opportunities for growth and expansion. This is all leading to a lot of success for you. You're definitely being recognized, but with that recognition, it's bringing a lot of attention and also a lot of um, competition or jealousy and envy is the energy that I'm getting as well, but definitely a lot of competition and a lot of people who don't want to see you succeed. And I'm almost getting the energy of that's what you were moving away from. Deceitful energy, conflict energy, people who don't want to see you have success. You have success here in your reading twice. And I'm almost feeling like spirit is saying, stay in this high vibration, continue to move towards your dreams and aspirations. Don't allow any negative energy to pull you back. Let go of anything that causes you stagnancy and focus on what it is that you want to manifest because you have the energy of the divine that's here to guide you towards your aspirations, your wish fulfillment and dreams coming true. So the answer to your question is a definite yes with this energy of allowing your soul to be free, allowing this gift of new adventure, new exploration, new growth. This is living the life to the fullest is the energy that I'm getting here. Having opportunities to travel, having the resources to play just as hard as you work. I get the energy of working smarter and not harder. Things are really starting to align for you and open up for you because you've put a lot of effort, a lot of energy, and you've been doing what is required in order for you to have success and advancement in your life. Spirit is saying, read the energy of 677. So your angel number energy for 677. If you've been wondering whether you're heading in the right direction, this is a message to tell you that you are most definitely with that chariot energy. You're moving into the direction of your divine purpose. You're moving in the direction of your higher and spirit of your higher self and moving towards your soul's growth and expansion. Beautiful energy. I love the chariot energy because it talks about developed ego. It talks about the moment when you realize the power that you have within, when you truly understand how to manifest and how to succeed and move forward within your surrounding by managing and balancing your shadow and your light, your masculine and your feminine energy coming from that space of the magician and the high priestess in order to create abundance, prosperity and blessings in your life. Spirit is showering you with blessings at this time because he sees the work that you've been doing. He sees the faith that you have, your drive, your aspiration, but he also sees your heart. It's a beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and pull an Oracle message. Oracle message for Scorpio who's moving away from conflict, confusion, from anything that wasn't on the up and up, that caused discontent, that caused stagnancy, anything that was jealous and envious and did not want to see you prosper. And you're also learning how to tame and balance your own shadow so that the highest vibration of yourself can come through. And three more shuffles for knowledge, wisdom, 
and perfect self-expression. Thank you, Spirit. And so it is. Lots of opportunities awakening for you. And those opportunities are definitely bringing in some financial and economic reward. Deceit. This is the energy that you're moving away from. Could be a Cancerian energy that we have here. This for me is justice energy. It also talks a lot about cancer energy as well. Hmm. Moving away from that deceitful energy where there were secrets, where things were hidden, where there was stagnancy. There goes the energy of the 27, the 7. That's what you're guarding yourself against, right? It's almost like snakes and rats and, and um, crabs. Guarding yourself against people and things that don't want to see you grow. That wish you harm is the energy that I'm getting as well. Maybe even the energy of some black magic here. Hmm. But you're divinely protected with that fourth chakra Archangel Raphael energy. I love it. I love it because you are in tune with your heart. Your heart space is a growing and evolving. You understand just how connected you are to the divinity and to source energy. And you're evolving in that way. Your light outshines the shadow. It outshines this deceitful energy, this manipulative energy, this energy that's only driven by lust, envy, greed. Your light outshines that. Spirit is saying, continue to function out of your heart space and out of love. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have patience. Have patience with yourself and others. Your awareness of your connection to all things allows you to always be in alignment with your higher self. A couple of messages of advice. Allow whatever needs to fall away to fall away. Gather your strength to move forward. You have brand new opportunities coming in. Remember, we talked about those financial growths, opportunities to start new business, travel, opportunities to expand, to network, to meet new people. This is definitely the energy of wholeness. This talks about needing to forgive any deceitful energy that may have been trying to hold you back in the past. Come from a place of compassion. Realize that hurt people hurt people. And don't allow that hurt to keep you trapped and bound. Release anger. Release resentment. Release fear. And know that you can't lose anything that is meant for you by your divine right. And then we have the energy of a new vision. Yeah. Because when you learn to let go, release, and walk by faith and not by sight, you are always in the energy of abundance in the energy of abundance. That's the name of this reading, Scorpio. You are moving in to the energy of abundance. Thank you for allowing me to read for you. This has been your energy update. I am so grateful for your time. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos for those who you think would enjoy and benefit from these messages. Check the description box below for those wonderful great goodies and also subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul 
is yours. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, happiness, blessings, and abundance be on to you. Love and light. Namaste.